famous Greek philosopher, Aristotle, once said that the root of education is bitter, but the fruit is sweet. I beg to differ, for in this era one cannot make out either the stem or the root. More or less consider enjoying education's fruits. My voice is a flyer, my speech is a banner. They carry a message, a burning desire, causing through my soul and spirit like a river, and blazing through my veins like a rapid push fire. I speak to tighten loose ends like a spanner and hit the nail right on the head with a hammer. The tertiary student has been trapped in a maze of premeditated predicaments in this era. An era in which the tertiary student gets graduated from university or college because he saw a few recesses for their time and drive. An era in which the tertiary student gets frustrated at the thought of settling down because unemployment is like an elephant in a room. An era in which employment is based on popularity rather than capability and credentials fail to project one's credibility because it's no more who you know but rather who knows you. An era in which creativity rules the street of Ghana and internet is malnourished in a disgraceful manner. An era in which mediocrity is embraced at the expense of excellence and the pleas of depressed voices suffer negligence. An era in which ear lobes are choked with curses and insults because eyes do not see productive results. An era in which the female tertiary student succumbs to vulnerability and falls prey to vicious lions disguised as benevolent employers ready to rid her of her innocence. An era in which the tertiary student believes that getting a first class degree is a big red button on the job market. Let's not alter an ugly picture by calling it cute. This is reality. This is the truth. The reality that the tertiary student cultivates into education and rips. No fruits. The reality that unemployment is an 800 pound gorilla constantly destroying numerous creative minds and destructive relatives that can be brought down with a single tranquilizer. Honestly. The reality that lustful and greedy employers feed on the innocence of the female tertiary students because they consider the beauty of such employees more valuable than their brains. Such people who should be facing the music and not changing the tunes. Malcolm Forbes once said, Education's purpose is to replace an empty mind with an open one. When it's all been said and done, the question remains unanswered. And the tertiary student goes to an exit out of this maze of premeditated predicament and claim this by a rightful place in the job market. Let's think about it. <laughs>